They're tighter, trickier, and harder than handcuffs. We're gonna learn how to escape from thumb cuffs. This episode of Scam School brought to you by those insidious wizards at Netflix. Welcome to the only school whose mascot is the fighting hangovers. Scam School, the only show dedicated to social engineering at the bar and on the street. I'm your host, Brian Brushwood, and this week we are back with another episode featuring escape artist extraordinaire and entertainer of the year nominee, Daniel Martin. This week we're going to be learning about the real thumb cuffs. Once again, Dan Martin. <laughs> Glad to see you again. How Thank, you been? I've been great. Thanks for having right. me back. So what, what have we done so far? We've escaped from police issued handcuffs. We've right. busted open combination locks. Right. Now what? Well, you know what? I thought to take it another step further. A kind of a, a combination of everything up to this point. Yeah. And uh, I brought handcuffs. That they're actually called thumb cuffs. They're like the miniature version of handcuffs. All right. Now, forgive me for saying this, but I know you said this is a combination or even better, but it, Objectively, from the outside, it would seem like this would be a step down to go from big, fancy handcuffs to smaller thumb cuffs. Sure. What makes thumb cuffs a bigger, better deal for well, you? Well, first of all, there's a, there's a lot of uh, law enforcement agencies that actually use thumb cuffs because really? they're smaller and they're more portable. So you could carry three, four, five of these on you as opposed to a few handcuffs. Oh. So they're a lot more portable. I mean, they're really thin, so you could flat it right in your back pocket, in your front pocket, wherever, they're ready to go. I would guess also, if you're gonna mess with your friends and show off that you're much more likely to throw something like this in your back pocket than walk around with a bunch of big handcuffs. Yeah, you know, because handcuffs, if, <laughs> if you were to bust out some handcuffs, on the bar or at the table. People get a little bit nervous? A little nervous, a little, especially if it's a first date. A second date, maybe not, but a first date Something definitely. like this, you're like, oh, they're so cute. They're, yeah, they're cute, and what are they? And then the mayhem ensues. Right, well, so speaking of which, do the same techniques that we learned on handcuffs work with thumb cuffs? They sure do. So you could use the key, Obviously. The key, yeah, the key. And, and you were telling me earlier, this is the same key that we used on the handcuffs. The exact same key. So you can get a pair of thumb cuffs, and it'll come with the same key that you would use on a pair of handcuffs. You had, because you carried the thumb cuffs on you, you had that key on you when you encountered the TSA, right? <laughs> yeah, I did. Can, can you tell this story, or is, is it going to no, get you in trouble? Uh, we'll see. We'll see. Yeah. Okay, okay, no, no, no. Tell okay, me about so, it. All right, so here's the deal. So just like you, I travel all over the country doing shows. And at one point, I, I forgot that you really shouldn't be flying with thumb cuffs or handcuffs or stuff like that. And so uh, they asked, well, what is this? As they started beeping and going through the x-ray machine. Right. And I said, you know, I'm, I'm an escape artist and a magician, and I try to get out of stuff. He's like, no, you're not. I said, try me, Tubby. You said that? <laughs> you were Which, kidding me. FYI, do not say to TSA. I period. can't believe you can't believe that. <laughs> all your gonads just. <laughs> it was bad. I don't believe it. All right, all right. And so what happened? Uh, he's like, really? He pulled out his handcuffs, threw me backwards. Now, was he manhandling you at that point? No, he was, you know what, he, he was, he did it in a fun way. He wasn't yeah. trying to be a jerk. He was okay. like, oh, really? Okay, smartass, let's try this. And he put it, me in his handcuffs behind my back and said, all right, let me try this. And he grabbed me in a very, very fun, like, let's screw around with you way. Yeah, well, and how did you, did you have that in your back pocket? How did you get that, the key, to where you needed it? <laughs> well, just like we said in the handcuff episode, I actually carry one of these with me almost all the time in my back pocket. Right. So what happened is I said, okay, really? And he goes, let's see you get out of those. In the process of him turning me around saying, hey, let's see you get out of those, I already had the key out, opened the first one, and I said, okay, here, and handed them right back to him. Oh, that is epic. <laughs> that is unbelievably so bad. This was pretty cool. All right, you've sold me. So, I'm going to keep thumb cuffs on me and, along and with the like, key yeah, at all times. And, and then he said, uh, okay, well, have a great day, sir. And he, he, just, <laughs> he just let you go? Yeah, he just couldn't believe it. He, <laughs> and two of his friends were clapping. And, <laughs> <laughs> so awesome. It was awesome. It was that awesome. is awesome. So, okay, so the stuff that works, uh, I guess the key obviously works. The key obviously works. Key. Let me show you how these go on in a, in a second. But basically, you, you'll put your thumbs in there almost like you'd put your wrist in the handcuffs. But there's no flexible moving chain. It's one rigid piece of metal. Yeah. And your thumbs go right in here, and they're locked right on. And obviously, as we mentioned before for the handcuff episode, you can use the key. The difference is you have to put the key in and turn it both ways. One way will open one side, 
the other way will open the other side. I would imagine it's a lot more complicated, especially if the hole is on this side, for you to maneuver around and make that kind of thing happen. It is, and typically when you have someone put you in these, which will go over in just a little bit, you want to have the keyhole always on the outside. Okay. If you plan on getting out. Right. But if a police officer is doing it, he's going to make sure to do it around this way. And he may. Time. He may. Even, even, either way, it's going to be difficult. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because you're going to have a hard time doing it. Okay, so obviously the key works, and earlier, before the shoot, I started messing with this, and I think I got the... Uh, let me see if I can do it again. Of course. With the paper clip. Yeah. And the same method that we taught on the handcuff episode. Yeah. Only, only the, like you pointed out, you've got to go one way for one side. And I try to, and just like we did before, you get it in there. There we go. Sides right open. So, on that one side. So the people that haven't seen the handcuff episode, they can go back and rewatch that. Yeah. And, and learn exactly how we did that. Okay, well, so that's it. It's just pretty much uh, handcuffs and miniature. Well, you can also do the shim, which we also taught in the handcuff episode. Then I'll slide it right in there, release the ratchet, pull it right out. Right. Or you can X out the paper clip, you can X out the shim, you can even X out the key and use nothing. Shut up. You're telling me you can get out of there with nothing? Nothing. These are regulation, no goofy trick, magic trick, plastic, little latch, thumb cuffs. I bet you a drink. I can get out of these thumb cuffs. Cause I need to redeem myself from the padlock episode where you kicked my ass <laughs> and you popped that bad boy over. I did win the I did so, win the bet. Alright, this will be your chance to win the so, drink back. Right, so <laughs> I'm gonna get out with, with no keys, nothing in my hands. Just all like right, well, that. first, let me feel them on me first. Yeah, I, I want you to see. I mean, you know, I'm which pair do you want to use? Let's, what, what pair do you want to use? Uh, let's be really whichever pair it. you're going to do the trick Fine. in let's are the this. actual okay. ones I want to do. I'm going to put all these right. right on your thumbs. All right. I'm going to make them tight, but I don't want to break your knuckles. Oh, there's no freaking way. Right. Well, because the teeth are digging in. They're oh, my God. They're digging in. You feel like you're going to break your thumb. So, I mean, they're... Well, I might. <laughs> <laughs> all right, and this is, and I can put it on this tight on you. Yes, absolutely. You Pinky swear. Pinky swear, right now. All right. And there's a drink on the, do I get to find out how you do it? Uh, I'll make you a deal. If I, if I win the drink, I will tell you how I do it. Ah, now you're talking my <laughs> language. Enough. Okay. All right, here we go. What do you, uh, I guess hold out thumbs? Uh, yeah, yeah. All right. Thumbs on. And I'm gonna turn, aha, I'm gonna turn this on the inside so it's even harder to do. And I'll, I'll, I'll hold it down just so you can push down on the drink. All right, out. here we go, that's, that's up pretty tight. And obviously they're tight? Yeah. Well, I don't know, let me get it in. Get... <laughs> I'm trying to get one more <laughs> click. I got one more click. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, dude. All right. All right. It's all right. Now, what are you drinking? I don't know. I'm having a Guinness. What are you? I will have a drink. The hell? You got to be freaking kidding me. <laughs> Shut STFU. What the hell? Yeah. That's unbelievable. All right. Before we find out how this one's done, let's check in with our homework assignment, courtesy of Netflix. This week, you're going to love your Netflix homework. I want you to check out Catch Me If You Can, directed by Steven Spielberg and starring Leonardo DiCaprio as Frank Abagnale, a con man who at the age of 16 began traveling all over the world, posing as a pilot for Pan Am, as a doctor, as a lawyer, and he used the position of authority to pass millions of dollars of bogus checks. The best part of this movie is that the story is absolutely true. You can learn more about Frank Abagnale's story from his book, but you're going to have a lot of fun watching this movie. Now, if you don't have Netflix, here's what you're going to do. Head on over to www.netflix.com slash scam school and start your free two-week trial. Don't forget that the www's at the beginning of the URL are just as important as the scam school at the end to make sure we get credit. All right, this is way worth the price of a drink. One of the best investments I made at Scam School. Absolutely. I have to know how it's done. Because oh. I'm serious, you put that on me and it was tight as hell. There's no way I was getting out of that. No, no. And it, you did it so fast. I mean, I suspect you slipped out of it, but I don't see how that's possible for how tight I put them on you. If you notice that when I put them on you, I said, hold out your thumbs, and you held out your thumbs. Because right. this is the natural reaction. Right. When you put them on me, I held my thumbs down so you could push down as tight as possible. Yeah, but you started off in the same position. I did, I did. Let me show you actually what happens. When I put my thumb in there, just like you, if you made them as tight as possible, there's no way in hell I'm getting out unless I use you know, the key, the paper clip, or the shim. Right. What happens is when I say, you know what, I want you, you to bear down and make them as tight as possible, it looks like I'm bracing myself. When you do that, you'll feel your thumb is actually fatter. Holy cow. It's probably about a quarter of an inch fatter than what it normally should be. And you were saying that this uh, you're actually constricting the blood vessels? That's exactly what you're doing. That's exactly what you're doing. Wow. So what happens is, if you were to lock me in there, I'm not getting out because my, my thumb knuckle just won't pull through right. unless you break it. But when you squeeze this, 
it constricts the blood vessels enough to make your thumb thicker than your knuckle. And you can see, I don't know if the close up will show, but like, like literally, I'm gonna push this as tight as I can without thinking I'm gonna injure you. Like right about there, it feels like I'm gonna start right. breaking your skin. And, and it hurts. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> 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 you see it turn a purple. Right. But now what happens is this. The moment you let go, the moment you let go, the blood constricts, you can wiggle your thumb. Dude, right that's a magic trick. Like all right, that. I've got to try this. That's it. That's, that's it. All right, all right. All right. So do, 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 do it to me. Okay, do, it okay, to me. Okay. do it to me. Do it to me. And it doesn't matter which way they, they do the lock. So, all right, I want you to go so, ahead. So you can start like this, though. You can start with yeah, the Yeah, so you put them on there and be like, you know what? I want you to beer down. And then I... It's a natural reaction when they say the beer down. Yeah. So when you do that, I lock them as tight as possible. Tighter. See if you can do it tighter. I can't. Come on, tighter. Do it. You can get one more. I dare what? you. I can't. Oh, all right. Here we go. I can't. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Wait. And no, no WD-40 needed. That's awesome. Yeah. Although WD-40 probably wouldn't hurt. This is great because it combines everything that we learned about handcuffs, puts it in a usable, portable, bar-friendly toy. And these are like anywhere between seven to 10 bucks. And they're so cheap they're as cheap. well. All right, this is it. You know what, I'm gonna buy you another drink. Thank you very much, Dan Martin. Thanks, Brian. Job well done, Thanks, dude. Guys. Here's to you, my man. Here's to you. Big thanks to Dan Martin for sharing this secret with us. And don't forget, we have one more episode with Dan coming up soon. Now, meanwhile, if you have any questions about how to pull this off, I want you to post them at the boards at revision3.com slash scam school. If you want to suggest your favorite bar scam or trick, why don't you write me directly at brian at revision3.com. For future updates on scam school, check out twitter.com slash scam school. And if you want to get my updates from the road, check me out at twitter.com slash schwood. Next week, we're doing something different. We're going to learn how to do a five-course meal entirely out of condiments. But first, I'm going to have to get myself a five-course meal. This is why I can't have my friends on the show. Right, it's because we can't we can't right, get anything right, done. Done. <laughs> done. Done, 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 done. Because I can't take you anywhere. There we go. <laughs> this was the funniest. Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll move over. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> All right. All right, here we go. This is good I know. Yeah, but we're working. We're providing valuable problems. <laughs>